If your creepy crawly phobias increase with the number of legs they have, as well as the size, then now is the time to probably go and make a cup of tea or coffee and come back later. This is the Scolopendra gigantea, also known as the Amazon giant centipede. These unnaturally large arthropods have 46 yellow legs and can grow up to around 35 centimeters in length. That's about the same length as a man's forearm. They have a venomous bite which they use to kill their prey, which can be usually anything up to the size of a mouse, a bat, small snakes and birds. Whilst the bite is not fatal to a fit healthy human, it can cause severe pain, swelling, chills, fever and weakness. Now if you're wondering how they catch bats, well that's quite clever really. They go up into the bat's cave and then they hang upside down from the roof, holding on with just a few pairs of legs. Then they catch the bats as they fly past. These are now very popular amongst collectors of exotic pets, but just be aware they are known to be very aggressive and also nervous. I think I'll pass on that one and I'll stick with a budgie. This could well be Dobby the house elf's long lost aquatic cousin, but it's in fact the goblin shark. And the name is really rather apt with its huge nose appendage and protruding teeth, making it look even weirder. But that's not the only strange thing about these sharks. They live in very deep waters, normally in tropical areas close to the ocean floor and are often called living fossils because they've been around for more than 125 million years. Because they live in the deep oceans between 40 and 1200 meters where there is almost no light, they are sometimes called the vampire shark. Their eyes are small and their skin is almost translucent with the pinkish coloring coming from the oxygenated blood within their capillaries. They are normally up to about 4 meters in length, but it's believed they can grow larger. The large flattened nose is covered in sensors which can pick up extremely small electric fields produced by its prey, which can be fish, squid, stingrays and crabs, either on the seafloor or in the free water. However, its real party piece are its jaws. It catches its prey by rapidly extending its entire mouth outwards. The flexible jaws are not part of the skull, and although some other sharks can push their jaws out a bit, this looks more like alien with its extending mouth. The fear of spiders seems to be inversely related to their size. Little money spiders are quite cute. Bigger house spiders are getting a bit scary, but when you get onto the ones like the golden orb weavers, it's enough to give most arachnophobes a heart attack. These are also known as giant wood spiders or banana spiders. They are normally found in the warmer climates around the world and are the oldest surviving spider species with fossilized specimens dating back some 165 million years. They grow big enough to capture small birds in their webs and even half meter long snakes have been photographed being captured and eaten. They get their name from the color of a silk which shines like gold in the sun. The yellow helps camouflage the web when it's in the shade, and in the sun, the bright yellow shiny strands attract bees. The spider itself can also adjust the pigment intensity relative to the background light levels, and also the color to help it hide from the insect's vision. Luckily, these spiders are relatively non-toxic to humans, with a bite causing moderate pain and swelling for about a day. Though the sight of the biggest ones, at around 13 centimeters or five inches across, is enough to scare most humans away which is ironic because they grow to their largest size in urban environments, probably because of a lack of predators and parasites and a more abundant food supply due to artificial lighting. Sometimes it seems as though nature is trying to make the most ugly and disgusting creatures just to creep you out. Take the hagfish for example. The mouth and head alone look like the work of an over-imaginative horror film special effects department. These are the only creatures to have a skull but no backbone or jaws. They have skin rather than scales and they are ancient. The only known fossil hagfish, which is 330 million years old, looks very similar to the modern day hagfish. But the real scare factor is its ability to make slime. And not just a little bit you get by handling an eel for example. 
The hagfish can make as much as 20 litres of slime in a minute. And if that doesn't get them out of a sticky situation, to excuse the pun, they can wrap themselves into knots and scrape off the slime and make an escape. Hagfish are bottom feeders, and whilst their main diet is polycheetah worms, they also feed on the dead bodies of fish and other animals that sink down to the seabed, where they like to burrow into the bodies and then eat them from the inside out, bursting out like a certain alien in the sci-fi films. If you crossed the ugliest spider with an equally ugly scorpion, then the mutant offspring would probably look like an amblypigid, or the whip spider, also known as the tailless whip scorpions. These twisted creatures appear to be made out of the most unsettling portions of spiders, praying mantises, crabs and daddy long legs and is a uniquely scary looking product of nature. Their flattened bodies and legs range in size from around 5 centimeters up to a screaming deucing 25 centimeters across. They are found in the warmer parts of the world and are mostly nocturnal, living in tropical forests in tight dark spaces under logs and rocks and also in dark caves where they are sometimes known to cover the walls. Whilst these are close relatives of spiders, they are actually neither spiders nor scorpions and although they have eight legs, only six are used for walking like a crab and the other two are sensory organs which are normally held out in front for finding its prey, which are things usually like crickets, beetles, caterpillars and other small insects. These little critters might look like the deadliest spawn of Satan, but they are in fact harmless. Well, to humans anyway. They are non-venomous, but the claws can give you a nip like a crab. They have eight eyes, but have poor vision and have to rely upon their sensory whips to find their way around. These are also kept as exotic pets as well, although I think you need quite a strong constitution to have these things in the house. With no eyes or face, the abyssal sea cucumber, or chutal larva, lives at depths of up to 19,000 feet on the sea floor of the deep oceans. These sea cucumbers are related to starfish and have squatty little tube legs which they can inflate. They also have a giant mouth which they use to hoover up the detritus that falls from the surface. They graze the ocean floor in groups of up to several hundred or thousand at a time and are often caught in the nets of deep sea trawlers. They're not poisonous and have no big scary teeth or claws so they are pretty much harmless but they do look as weird as heck. If you were wondering where the makers of gremlins got their creature ideas from, then you need look no further than the Eye Eye. Unlike the other cute members of the Lima family, the Eye Eye looks like it hit every branch as it fell out of the ugly tree. It has the wide staring eyes, weird large ears, and especially elongated middle finger, which they use to extract grubs from trunks and branches of trees, and they're also not afraid of humans. Researchers in Madagascar reported accounts that tell of individual eye eyes strolling nonchalantly through the village streets and even walking right up to naturalists in the rainforest and sniffing their shoes. However, in their native Madagascar, they are seen as a harbinger of evil and often killed on sight. It's believed that the appearance of an eye eye predicts the death of a villager, and the only way to prevent this is to kill the eye eye and hang the body up to ward off evil spirits. Good for villagers, but not so for the eye eyes. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then don't forget to please thumbs up and subscribe for more. And if you have any ideas for videos you'd like to see, then please let us know in the comments below.